Don't do it. Welcome to another interesting episode. So I just came back from the garden, but I noticed there are some pests that we just need to deal with very fast. So in this video, I want to show you how to make a simple, potent bag spray that you can do at home. The materials are so cheap. You can use it and it is strong. It will keep the pests away. I used some petroleum jelly on the zucchini to keep the those annoying and away my name is Julie for 254 nature grass here I have the simple things you need to create this bug spray it's so affordable to do it and it's safe to use especially when your plants are flowering and fruiting that's a critical stage that if you use a lot of chemical pesticides, you know you are just causing some harm to your body. Because we are growing food at home and I want to be able to just get it from the garden or even while you are in the garden, you can bite into something and you are confident it's good enough, it's safe for you. Pest spray, one is onions. Can you believe this is the same onion we harvested like six months ago? They are still good, I dried them well. So I'm still enjoying my onions. Go over and watch the video on onions. We also need uh, some garlic. We need some chili. You need a spray bottle that you're going to use to spray our plants. Then you're going to blend the mix. After blending, we have to sieve the mix. Because if you, if you don't sieve the thick, substances will be in the spray and you don't want it to block your spray bottle so i'm going to take you through the steps so fast and you're going to learn here i also have uh, some soap liquid soap for your dishes you're going to use this liquid soap it just acts like a sticker when you are spraying your plants, it helps the spray to stick onto the, onto the leaves or the different plant parts you are going to spray so that the rain does not wash it away all away. And also when it gets to the pest, it will kill the pests. So for these pills, I'm not going to add them into the mix, though I've also done another video how you can use these pills just to keep the pests away. Watch my video on how to grow Napa cabbage at home. So the garlic is done. It's good enough. So I'm using two big bags of garlic because I want this bag spray to be strong. I want this organic spray to be really, really strong. So here I have some chili. And because you are using some chili, make sure you keep this spray away from your eyes. So we are just going to remove the top part like this. And the rest of it, you are going to throw it as it is into the blender. You can use more chili if you desire. Mm, this chili is strong. Mm. Mm. This chili is very strong. So once you remove the top part of the chili, just throw it in as it is. So now because you are making a liquid, we need some water. So you are going to prepare just like a glass of water like this. This is strong enough. If you use uh, too much water, you're going to weaken your spray. 
So for these two bags of garlic, I have some onion, I have some chili. This hot water will be enough. So it's more of a uh, hot. It's not boiling hot, but it's not warm. So just hot water. So this is what you're going to add in. Just a little bit fast. We're going to make it into a paste. Then you're going to add the rest of the water in. So let's blend in this mix. blended in but don't try to do what I just did opening it up immediately because there's chili I told you this is a very potent organic spray so we are going to add in the rest of the water blend it in then we are going to leave this to rest in the fridge overnight and tomorrow I will show you the next step so do not add in any anything else at this point I will tell you when to add the next ingredient. We have not we are not finished with the ingredients yet. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> don't cough. You're far away, but don't cough. <laughs> See? Yes, that's how you want it to be. This is a very strong spray. After getting a thick paste, just add in the rest of the water. Don't put your face on top there. Let's open up this. We add in the rest of the water, blend it in. It's easier to do it like that. opened this thing again <laughs> let's forget because i'm so used to making some smoothies with my veggies from the garden so when i'm just using them then i open it up and check and i almost opened it up again and you see the effect of the chili so this is good enough see you see the suspended solids so tomorrow we'll finish up the process and we are going to get our spray into the spray bottle. Then we are going to go out to the garden and spray our crops. You are going to store this in the fridge because this, uh, this, are, this is like food. And it will go bad. And I don't want it to go bad so fast. So before you even use it, store it in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow we are going to finish off the process. So just remove it from the blender. Get a clean container. Store it in the fridge, cover it, and leave it there. Don't put it in the freezer, just in the fridge. So, let's get it out of here. To a clean container. Woo! Trust me, don't touch your face near there. Just cover it. Woo! Strong. You need to try this at home. <laughs> For this one, you have to try it at home. Let me cover it. Let's cut this off. So it's good enough like this. So I'm just going to let it cool down and you're going to store it in the fridge. I just harvested my first zucchini. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Woo! But now as you have been looking at the leaves, you see they need help and we, we have started preparing our bag spray. So it's time to take it out of the fridge. Let me take out my hat. It's time to take it out of the fridge and stay it inside so that we can spray our plants.
This is it. Cold from the fridge. I hope right now it does not have any fumes. <laughs> because if you inhale the fumes, oh my god. Ooh. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So we have to strain it somewhere. Recipes, please, in the comment section. Let's strain this. The last ingredient This is enough And it's in there Ahadada ibis just came. Ahadada ibis just came in. See? Ahadada ibis. Look, look. The bird that has been chewing my, my bean sprouts. You see? Look at this. Ahadada ibis. It's back. It's the bird that has been chewing. Oh my, look at this. Uh -huh. 